right. Oh, I thought that was a, that looked like a bullet hole. That's not a bullet hole. All right, this will work. Well, as Josh would say, got a little bit of a whiskey dent there. We can fix that with some duct tape, some Velcro. So apparently it doesn't have any brakes. And they said it's got good tires. Yeah, those are not good tires. <laughs> see, they left it open, good. Look at that. God's gonna be riding with us. Look, Tanner's gonna be in heaven. Perfect. All right, don't know what that is. I wonder if he left the keys in it, let's see. And... Ooh! Oh, for those of my fellow Gen Xers, I was hoping for something more alluring. Let's see. Nope, we're denied. Hmm. Old igniter. Still works. Don't touch. Element with bare hands. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Well, wouldn't you read it that way too? Don't touch. <laughs> Element with their hands. What do we got? What is that? I have no idea what that is, but we'll just leave that. It doesn't have to do with the truck. But let's see. Any spare keys in here? Nope. Let's see. Anything in the glove box? Nope. All right. That's solid. Piece there, nothing bad. Hell yes, this is gonna work. This is really gonna work. So let's take a look up underneath the power barn, as Derek would call it. Let's take a look. Yep, the infamous four liter. Perfect. But I still think we're gonna drive it home. I don't know. Those tires, man. Well, it's only about 15 miles in essence. It's not super far. A lot of old guys like to take spare keys, put them up underneath. Let's see what we got. Let's see. And... Nope. Nope. What the... What the heck is that? What is that for? Let's take a look at the brakes here. Oh, okay. Well, you said they're metal on metal, but that's funny. They're drum brakes. My 2003 had four-wheel disc. We'll kind of give that the spray paint in there to shh, shh. We're just going to call this good. Then we'll get a box. But everything else is all right. That little thing, that won't be much. A little Bondo. Let's see if we've got lights. Lights. And we got lights. Right. Yeah, that'll work. This is going to be a replacement for the blazer because the blazer, as you all know, is kind of sketchy. So, this ought to work good. Now I just got to come back and pick it up, waiting for the people to come back. And uh, apparently, the owner of this passed away, unfortunately. And uh, this would be from his son. And I'm getting this pretty cheap all right we're back saturday morning and we're gonna take this home runs drives we're gonna check a few things on it though real quick make sure that everything is on it and make sure everything works I'm not supposed to have any brakes apparently they kind of work <laughs> Uh, you said that <laughs> he didn't have uh, brake fluid? This is full. <laughs> That's full too. Yeah, you also don't fill those. There's a level that you have to have on there. But, well, I guess this ain't needed. Alrighty, let's check a few other things. Full 
oil needs an oil change. It's kind of oil. I'm not doing the Derek thing. I'm not tasting it. Where is the blood stick? Oh, there it is. Ooh. It don't smell good. But at 106,000 miles, I'm sure nobody's ever changed the transmission fluid. Antifreeze is up to the top. That's good. Let's do a will it start video. Hmm. Well, that was anticlimactic. Now let's see what kind of brakes we got here. Oh. <laughs> I don't feel like bleeding. It feels like a master cylinder. We only got about 10 miles to go back to my house. Thought it was 20 miles, it's about 20 minutes. Uh, let's make like a baby and let's head out. Uh, there's brakes there, but not very good. Whew, all right. front end is not happy. That's 35. That's 40. Oh boy, she needs tires. But steering's tight. Let's see. What kind of brakes do we got here? Oh yeah. Yeah, that was... <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing we're slowing down here. Hey, turn signal works. How about that? Cool. All right. I think what we'll do is let's just show the ride home. Enjoy the music. gas to make it home, I don't know. Alright, now we got that part off. That's not wide enough. Not wide enough. Using an old 
idle air control motor to see if we can get it off of there. You know, I have 5,000 tools at home that will take this right off. Oh, you had a knife in your pocket the whole time? Oh. Damn you! <laughs> so the makers of these lock caps, I salute you. It was pretty good. But it's not enough to outdo the Pilgrim's Garage. <laughs> tested anything on this thing so let's go ahead let's see if we've got four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive or what we got here so let's go ahead control something went click it says four-wheel drive put her in the gear let's see what happens here that's definitely four-wheel drive back into two-wheel drive, back up a little bit, take it out, let's put it in two-wheel drive, okay, so there's two-wheel drive, all right, so it does have four-wheel drive, let's so put it in park, four-wheel drive, low, Four-wheel drive low is not working. Sometimes it just takes a while for it to do it. It might be a while. Oh, there's four-wheel drive low. She went in. Very good. Let's take a little tour around the property here. Four-wheel drive low. That idler is not happy. definitely four-wheel drive for those of you that don't know that you put four-wheel drive you make a hard turn you can feel it jumping because that's that front end so that's another good way to check the half shafts because if it doesn't jump that means you have one of them that's bad so let's do a hard right hand turn yep that's doing it all right Cool. All right, let's see if we can get it back out of there for a moment. So, neutral. And yeah, we're back in four-wheel drive now. So, let's put the gear. Yeah, it's four-wheel drive. Very good. Let's go ahead and two-wheel drive. Sure, we got that. I'm gonna tear my lawn up. Yep, two wheel drive. All right. Well, that seals the deal. Okay. Well, successful ride home. Four wheel drive works. Gas cap's already fixed. Thanks a bunch for watching. Have a good night. Be good.